Breaking news! Congresswoman Gabrielle Guilford is shot dead in a mass shooting in Tuscan. It is a fox, it was a fox pause because many of the news channels, big news channels were reporting it as a news. But why am I talking about it? Because it was a fake news. It was an erroneous news which went out to Twitter. You know what? In the name of breaking news, these media outlets, they rush into, they rush so fast into breaking the breaking news that some, sometime it turned out to be wrong. Good morning everyone, I'm Akansha Srivastav and my topic is breaking news should be banned for sensationalizing every news. It seems a lot of time that our wait for the bad things to happen has been increased exponentially. We are obsessed with what is the news, what is breaking, what is trending. You know, sometimes subconsciously or unconsciously, we make a quick shift from a very significant news like war broken out or hostages being held to a very sensational news Alia and Ranveer Kapoor's relationship is status. Amitabh Bachchan caught cold. UFO is coming, save your cows. Yes, my friends, this is the status of the breaking news nowadays. The biased media presents the newsworthy topics in a tabloid manner. Why they do this? Ask me why they do this. Even they even use the tactics. What are those tactics? The deliberately obtuse, appealing emotions, you know what, being controversial, being loud. And my friends, let me tell you this, that they sometime omit the facts and the information and that too intentionally. Why do they do this? Let me tell you, let me answer this question. Because the goal of the sensational breaking news is to make profits. By making a sensational breaking news, they increase their viewers, which increases the TRPs, and lately it increases the price of their advertisements, which leads to increasing their profits. Finally, they make a stand among their competitors by doing this. Many a times, you must have seen that the same political issue is right on one news channel and wrong on the other news channel. Where is the news? Is this journalism or campaign? Is this fact projections or fact manipulations? Is this nation service or TRP stunts? Nation wants to know. What is she talking? What the hell is she talking? What nation wants to know? I don't want to know anything. We know that media is a connecting wire. It is a connecting wire and it is running all across the corners of a country. And it is breaking every barrier from north, west, east, south. Let me enlighten you more. Give me an ex I'm going to give you an example. It was the sad times of Chennai floods, Kerala floods. The entire nation came together and contributed financially as well as non-financially to recover the immense disaster caused by the natural disaster. Let me ask you a question. It's a million dollar question. How did that happen? I'm going to answer that question. Due to social media or the breaking news, you say it happened. How can we not talk about the Anna Hazare movement? It was anti-corruption moment in 2011 and for months and months it was a breaking news. People came out voluntarily in lags and lags. It was the exhibition of the people's power. And how can we forget Nirbhaya? The outburst of people was tremendous. And it was not a pity party. It was the outburst. It was the fight for the justice. It was a fight against the heinous crime. And let me tell you, my friends, if media or the breaking news played an important role to win that justice battle, then so be it. What
liking you more. There are four pillars of democracy. One is executive, judiciary, legislative, and media is also one of them. So we cannot rule out the importance of media or the breaking news. However, the usage of the breaking news has gone off track to grab the TRPs. So my belief is, do not, the breaking news should not be banned. However, however, the absolute nonsense, non-relevant news calling breaking news should be shunned.